This is Regina Thomas here to talk about Sigmund Romberg. He was born in Hungary where he studied violin and piano and then he moved on to Vienna, Austria to study engineering, but he also studied composition on the side. In 1909, he got on a boat and went to New York City. Now, he started out working in a pencil factory, but this did not last long. He was soon playing piano in restaurants and cafes, and then he founded his own orchestra and was writing his own songs. This led to his discovery by some famous impresarios who were big in the vaudeville industry. They then commissioned him to adapt Viennese operettas into something that Americans would enjoy in English. So this was a big step for his career, and in particular, there was a piece called Blossom Time that really launched him. Now, Blossom Time wasn't actually his own composition. Rather, it was an American operetta adapted from the work of Franz Schubert, a 19th century Viennese composer. But it really did allow him to be launched into the um, New York music scene. He was able to collaborate and, were, and be around a lot of very famous people of the time, like people like Oscar Hammerstein II and George Gershwin. And he was very popular in the 1910s and 1920s. But we don't really see his work done much anymore. And I always wonder why. When I hear some beautiful music, I just always ask that question. Why don't we see more of it? Why don't we see these works done? So I dig a little bit deeper. And really, when we look at the stylings and the shows of American operetta, first of all, the stories of Sigmund Romberg's operettas, they tend to have more um, of dilemmas and and people who are more European styles. They are the things that are European problems and not American, um, which at the time were very, were interesting to people in America. At that time, we uh, were interested in European culture and we brought in lots of shows that came from Europe, operas, operettas, and we didn't really have our own national style. So we brought in people. We loved him. He was trained in Europe. He had European style. The music was beautiful and he was captivating. Uh, but what this was is really just a moment in time. And he was working with all of these people who would then develop from uh, being exposed to other styles. They then developed what would become the true national style of America that is American musical theater. George Gershwin, Oscar Hammerstein II, Richard Rogers, all of those greats who developed wonderful musical theater. So Sigmund Romberg, an American operetta, a lovely moment in time, but not really the um, authentic American uh, national style that we would, we would expect to stick around. So we have two video excerpts for you. One is from New Moon, which was one of his most popular pieces and in fact was remade into a movie starring Jeanette MacDonald and Nelson Eddy. And the story revolves around a French nobleman. And he has revolutionary tendencies, but this was before the French Revolution. So he flees from France because he's not, he's in trouble with the powers that be. And he flees to New Orleans and he sells himself into bonded servitude with a shipping magnate and plantation owner. He falls in love with the plantation owner's daughter, but they cannot be together because he's a bonded servant and she is a wealthy man's daughter. So class differences, which were not necessarily as impactful in American society. Um, a bunch of other stuff happens that eventually lead to them getting together. Uh, but that's the basic dilemma at the beginning of the opera. The scene that you will be hearing uh, on the YouTube channel is One Kiss. And Marianne, the heroine, is kind of being teased by her friends. They say it's, it's very popular for a girl to have lots of different suitors who pursue her. And then she has a choice of all those different men who she decides that she likes the best. Well, Marianne says, I'm not interested in doing that. I just want to find one man 
one kiss and that will be all I need for the rest of my life. One kiss. And the other excerpt that we have prepared for you is from Maytime. And Maytime is actually an ad adaptation from a German operetta. The story is a young woman who is wealthy and falls in love with her father's foreman. And again, so class differences. And they never do get together. Their grandchildren eventually get married. It's a little bit odd from our point, of, my point of view, but... There it is. The scene is early in the operetta, and she is saying to him, you know, we're in the May of our relationship. Will you remember me in December? Will you remember that love? So we have one kiss from New Moon, and will you remember from May time? And both of those will be sung by Katie Hawkman and played by John Burkhart on the piano. <laughs> 